हेलो वेलकम बैक टू द ऑडियो लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ जैक हैंडलर हेयर आई एम द इन द यूट्यूब चैनल एफ एफ बी एम डी इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस एफ हाउ फेनोमोन ऑफ रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स एंड Uh, phenomenon of refraction and uh, we have discussed about uh, and discussed the uh, refractive index and its related properties now we see some another point related to this refractive index and uh, refraction if an object is placed in a medium medium of refractive index ni1 and an actual distance d actual from a plane boundary and when seen from a medium of refractive index mu2 it appears to be at a distance d apparent then mu 1 to equals to mu 1 by mu 2 equals to d app actual by d apparent in general the object side medium is considered as first medium and the eye side medium is considered as second medium or we can say that uh, incidence incident ray side medium is considered at first medium and refracted ray side medium is considered at second medium now some phenomenon related to refraction so oh. first we see the bending of light ray now we know that from snell's law mu1 sin equals to mu2 sin r or sin i by sin r equals to mu2 by mu1 so if light passes from rare to denser medium example air to water or glass here mu1 equals to mu r and mu2 equals to mu d mu r represent rarer medium and mu d represent denser medium so first medium is here rare medium and second medium is denser medium so from above relation sin i by sin r equals to mu d by mu r which is greater than 1 and so angle of incidence will be equal uh, angle of incidence will be greater than angle of refraction now that is from it it is clear that in passing from rare to denser medium ray bends toward the normal similarly if light passes from denser to rare medium the here first medium is denser and second medium is rare so mu1 will be equal to mu d and mu2 equals to mu r and from the relation sin i by sin r equals to mu2 by mu1 so sin i by sin r equals to mu r by mu d which is less than one that is mu r by mu d is less than one and so angle of incidence is less than angle of refraction or angle of refraction is greater than angle of incidence that is from it is clear that in passing from denser to rare medium light ray bends away from the normal now apparent depth and normal shift 
if a point object in one medium is observed from other medium and boundary is plane boundary then from sense law we note that mu1 sin i equals to mu2 sin r Now some phenomenon related to illustration of refraction of light. Bending of an object. When a point object in denser medium is seen from a rare medium, it appears to be at a depth of d by mu. So if a linear object is dipped inclined to the surface of a liquid, the water actual depth will be different for its different points and so will be apparent and due to this the object appears to be inclined from its actual position visibility of two image of an object when an object in a, is in a glass container and is seen from a level higher than that of liquid in a container Two image I1 and I2 of object O can be seen simultaneously, one due to refraction at the upper surface while the other at the side surface. Now tinkling of stars. The stars are self-luminous distant objects so that only very few rays of light reach the eye through the atmosphere. However, due to fluctuation in the refractive index of atmosphere, the refraction the refraction becomes irregular and due to this light sometimes reaches our eye and sometimes not and due to this uh, this gives rise of twinkling of stars if from moon or free space we look at the stars this effect will not take place and a star light will reach the eye continuously next oval shape of sun and sun at morning and evening in the morning or evening sun is at horizon and refractive index in the atmosphere of the earth decreases with height due to this light entering earth atmosphere from different parts of vertical diameter of the sun enters at different heights in earth atmosphere and so travels in a medium of different different refractive indices at the same instant and bend unequally due to this unequal bending of light from vertical diameter the image of sun gets distorted and it appears over and larger however at noon when the sun is overhead due to normal incidence there will be no bending and the sun will appear circular. Next is behavior of a transparent sphere. A butter drop or a glass sphere in air due to refraction behaves as a convergent lens. in the uh, uh, while 
an air bubble in water or a spherical cavity in glass behaves as divergent lens. From ray diagram, it can be understood easily. Now total internal is fraction. We know that when light goes from denser to rare medium, it went away from the normal. So if angle of incidence is such that the refracted ray, refracted ray becomes parallel to the boundary surface, In this case, the angle of incidence is known as a critical angle. Now, if the angle of incidence is greater than critical angle, then light gets reflected back in the same medium. And this, this phenomenon is called total internal reflection. In the case of refraction of light, we know that from Snell's law, mu1 sin i equals to mu2 sin r. If light is passing from denser to rare medium through a plane boundary, here, then here, mu1 is mu d, that is a refractive index of denser medium, and uh, mu2, that is refractive index of second medium is equal to mu r, refractive index of rare medium, and so that mu uh, mu d by mu r. We represent uh, refractive index mu. It, it is uh, generally it uh, represents refractive index of second medium with respect to first medium. So here second medium is rare medium. So mu uh, Yeah, it was, uh, mu mu d by mu r uh, refractive index of first medium with respect So mu d mu equals to mu d by mu r. Right? Now equation one. Uh, now above equation reduces to sin i equals to mu r by mu d. Into sin r. That is sin i equals to sin i by sin r by mu. That is sin i proportional to sin r with angle of incidence always less than angle of refraction as mu is greater than 1. So as angle of incidence i increases, angle of refraction r will also increase and for a certain value of i less than 90 degree, angle of refraction becomes 90. The value of angle of incidence for which angle of refraction is equal to 90 degree is called critical angle and is denoted by theta c. So we have sine theta c equals to sine 90 by mu 
that is sin theta c equals to 1 by mu so again we can write sin i equals to sin r into sin theta c or sin r equals to sin i by sin theta c if i is greater than theta c sin r will be greater than 1 this means that r is imaginary as a value of sin of any angle can never be greater than unity and physically this situation represents that refracted ray does not exist so the total light incident on the boundary will be reflected back into the same medium from the medium from the boundary and this phenomena is called total internal reflection now some point related to total internal reflection is first for total internal reflection to take place light must be propagated from denser to rare medium that is that is light to goes from air to water or air to that is light going from air to water or air to glass total reflection can never take place but if light is going from water to air or glass to air total internal reflection can take place if angle of incidence is greater than theta c that is angle critical angle second one when light is passing from denser to rare medium total internal reflection will take place only if angle of incidence is greater than a certain value called critical angle given by theta c equals to sin inverse 1 by mu where mu is the refractive index of denser medium with respect to rare medium or mu equals to mu d by mu r in case of total internal refraction as all light incident is reflected back into the same medium there is no loss of intensity while in case of reflection from mirror or refraction from lenses there is some loss of intensity as all light can never be reflected or refracted this is why image formed by total internal reflections are much brighter than formed by mirror or lenses now some important point related to the critical angle which is represented by theta c or ic in the case of propagation of light from denser to rare medium through a plane boundary critical angle is the angle of incidence for which angle of refraction is 90 degree and from snell's law we know that mu 1 sin i equals to mu 2 sin r mu d sin theta c equals to mu r sin 90 and that is sin theta c equals to mu r by mu d equals to 1 by mu with mu equals to mu d by mu r or theta c equal to sin inverse 1 by mu here mu represents refractive index of denser medium with respect to rarer medium or mu equals to mu d by mu r now from above relation we conclude that for a given pair of medium critical angle depends on wavelength of light used that is greater the wavelength of light lesser will be mu as mu proportional to 1 by v proportional to 1 by lambda and so greater will be the critical angle this is why critical angle is maximum for red and minimum for violet rays
for a given light it depends on nature of pair of media lesser the mu greater will be the critical and vice versa this is this can be uh, understood from given relation for example if we take glass air here uh, refracting index of glass is 3 by 2 and refracting index of air mu a is equal to 1 so mu equal to mu g by mu a equals to 3 by 2 and so theta c for glass air interface is equal to sine inverse 2 by 3 equals to 42 degree so so glass a so so in case of glass air critical angle is equal to 42 degrees again we take water air then refracting index of water mu w equals to 4 by 3 and mu a equals to 1 hence mu equals to mu w by mu a equals to 4 by 3 and so theta c w a water air sine inverse 3 by 4 equals to 49 degrees so critical angle for water air interface is 49 degree similarly for glass water interface we can calculate air mu g equals to 3 by 2 and mu w equals to 4 by 3 so mu equals to mu g by mu w equals to 9 by 8 and so theta c glass water sin inverse 8 by 9 equivalent to 63 degree 